Cora was born um, in, on March 5th, 2008, and she was our firstborn. Um, I had been teaching, and Joel was and is a farmer, um, but I quit my job then at the end of that school year and stayed home full time um, with Cora and um, she was totally our world. We were loving every second of um, having a daughter, which was a big surprise, um, but we were loving learning about girls and all the girly things, and um, we just had so much fun together as a little family. So fast forward to um, when she was about 10, months old. She started getting sick, but it was just kind of normal um, ear infections and colds and, you know, just the stuff all kids get. So we were in and out of the pediatrician um, quite frequently, and then um, we really couldn't figure anything out, but we just felt like something was wrong with her. Um, and so at one particular appointment that we had for um, a follow-up, um, they did some x-rays and uh, figured out that her liver was very enlarged and our pediatrician sent us directly from that appointment to the hospital in Wichita. Um, and he told us that he was expecting that it was some sort of leukemia or cancer, but wasn't sure at that time. So we drove to Wichita with Cora and um, we were scared to death um, about what we would find out. And uh, we checked her into the hospital and we spent the next 17 days there in the hospital with our daughter Cora. Um, she had a surgery to remove the cancer and um, several surgeries after that too. And we started the chemotherapy there in the hospital. So um, we spent those days in the hospital and then um, on the 17th day, which was a Sunday, we were awoken in the middle of the night um, by the doctors and they told us that there wasn't anything else they could do. And so early that Sunday, we had to let go of our little girl. And that was when the trusting God with what he had given us became really, really hard. In the weeks and months that followed, um, we experienced every emotion possible from doubt to anger to grief, you know, just everything possible and such a roller coaster ride. But time and time again, we'd be brought back to God's word and say, you know, this, who is God? Who, what does he want for us? You know, it, and it came down to trusting and knowing who God is and his character and that is, in time, what has erased the doubt and just knowing that God's plan is, is bigger than ours and is, is more perfect than we could ever ask or imagine. In Lamentations, when it says, um, because of God's great love for us, we will not be consumed. His mercies are new every morning. Great is His faithfulness. I think um, at that time when I felt totally consumed by death and grief, that that was just something that I could cling to, that even though I didn't know how I would get through the next day, that He was faithful and He was going to give me the grace that I needed to keep walking. And that was big for me during that time. <laughs>